with these ingredients and this list of instructions, I'm gonna try and recreate Happy Healthy Wives' very tasty and wonderful braised pork ribs with cabbage and noodles. And when we are finished cooking the dish, we will taste it and see if it's anywhere near as good as Happy Healthy Wife can make herself. So let's get cracking. So I've read through directions and I think I can do it. Um, I mean, I know this is gonna do later. I know we're gonna start by cooking the ribs. That's generally the first thing you do when cooking is to start with the meat, but why are there two pots? And I know this pot is the finishing pot, but why do I need a second pot? Is that just for vegetables? Is that for the noodles that we're gonna use later? I hope this is the right amount of meat because it was in the freezer in a bag of three. So I'm assuming this is the meat we're gonna use. Let's see, because this is the bone ribs that we use. Well, it's about two pounds. So we have about two pounds of pork ribs here. It just says wash them and place them in a pot. Between the bones. All right, now we're gonna wash them. Okay, the meat has been washed, cut, um, place them in a pot. Because we're also going to boil them once, dump that water out, and boil them again in reserve water, I'm pretty sure this pot is for the pork. So let's just put them all in the pork. Okay. So now we're going to put enough water to cover and boil it up. So we wash them, we place them in a pot, just put in enough water to cover the ribs because we're going to pour the water out. Oh yeah, so the first boil has been achieved. It's bubbling up, you can see it's bubbling and that just looks pretty scummy. So I can see why that is going to be boiled off, or at least this looks like a first boil to me. So I'm gonna use this wonderful strainer to strain the meat and we're gonna refill it and get ready for a second boil to actually cook it. So most of the scum has been removed. Still think I wanna wash off the meat. Wash out the pot, there's still like scum in there. So let's wash it out. Hopefully that's the right move. Read the exact directions again. Turn off and pour the water out. You may wash the ribs as well. I wanna wash the ribs. All right. All right, rinse it out of the pot. There's still a little bit in there, but I think that's going to be flavor. Rinse off the ribs. Ribs are fairly well rinsed. Back in the pot. All right, that looks pretty good. So now we're gonna boil this one as well. Okay, now that we've washed the ribs, time to boil again, then simmer for 20 minutes. We've been simmering here for about 20 minutes. It's looking pretty good. All right, so let's turn it off. The next step, take out the clay pot and add some oil. Take out the ribs from the pot, drain. Place them in the clay pot, stir fry them until they brown. So we're trying to get the ribs to have the brown to make them more flavorful. Yeah, that's hot, okay. So you can see in the pot, we're left with a beautiful pork broth. Might take some time. Turn it all nice around all sides like that. Just let it sit in the hot oil and stir occasionally. Now they look nicely brown. It's time to make them look even more brown. All right, so let's see, there's a tablespoon. Let's go one more of those. Yeah. So we're on two tablespoons of brown sugar. Might be too much, but that's what we're going for. About a teaspoon of salt there. And now to make it brown, two tablespoons of soy sauce. Ooh. And of course, stir that up. And our browned meat gets extremely brown. Make sure each piece of pork gets that flavorful, sweet and salty mixture. Then add rib soup to cover the ribs cover. Wash cabbage while you wait for ribs to boil. Maybe I'm gonna go ahead and cover and simmer it while I do the next part. So we're gonna cut them up and then we're gonna wash them. So now I'm gonna have to separate them by leaf and 
stems, actually. Okay, leave. And now the stems on top. So it just says, place in the leafy parts in the rice noodles. We got our cabbage all washed. The white root part goes in first. Let's put those in. White root, ooh, some of them got to the bottom. That's weird. Get them in. Three to five minutes for the white root parts. Looking at the color of the broth, it's looking similar to what I remember. Maybe a little darker. Let's go ahead and cover it up. Get three to five minutes to cook. So it's been about five minutes. Let's pull it off again. We'll put in the next leaves. Oh wow. It's gonna really fill the pot, isn't it? Wow, that's really filling the pot. It's okay. When you cook cabbage, it shrinks just like spinach. Okay, so you got the cabbage in, the leaf and the non-leaf alike. Now we're gonna put in the noodles and cook for three to five minutes. The noodles, okay. Make sure they're all soaked in the broth. All right, that looks good. Let's cover it again. Another three to five minutes and we should be done. After five minutes of boiling, Simmering, Let's see if it's done. Just gonna stir it up for pictures. Yeah, that's looking righteous. Picture worthy right there, picture worthy. So now it's time for the taste test. Happy Elfie Dara and myself know what it's supposed to taste like from when Happy Elfie Wife makes it. So let's dig in and see what we think. Best part, the pork rib. I think it's pretty good. I don't know if it's the cabbage, but the first bite tasted a little sweeter than usual. Cabbage was fine. Uh, for me, the meat still quite fall off the bone tender. I'm off the bone, no problems with that. Tasted was good. Might be a little sweeter. I couldn't tell if it was that much sweeter or not. Try some noodles, soaked up all the flavor. Noodles are noodles. Noodles are noodles. They soak up all the broth flavor, so it helps me decide that probably is a little sweeter than what I've had before. So maybe two tails is a little too much. Between one and one and a half tails in the sugar would have been enough. But besides being a little too sweet, it is still a very good soup. Okay. Let's hear the voice of the master of this dish. So I tried the Chinese cabbage. I also tried the rice noodle. They're both good. I also tried the pork. They're not that tough to me. I think they're still good. Yeah, they're a good dish. So now you know the secrets of how to make this dish taste really good. But if you want another great tasting Chinese dish, why don't you click on this link right over here. That'll be a nice compliment to this one and you can have it with rice.